Hey everybody, Rich here. We're going to talk about WinFF, which is a graphical front end for FFmpeg. And uh, don't be fooled by the title because it is not just for Windows, although most of you who use this will probably be using it on Windows. It is available for Windows 95 all the way to Windows 7, has a portable edition as well as an installer if you want to install it locally, and will also run on Ubuntu, Debian, Red Hat, OpenSUSE, Arch Linux. Some of you may instantly say, well, what about Handbrake? Handbrake is awesome. No question about it. But I like WinFF better because it gives, well, how should I say this? It gives me more useful options to actually learn FFmpeg from the command line. And I'll show how that works in a moment. Okay, now I use, as an example, I do use Fraps for doing my screencasting these days because it's easy. Oops, let me get rid of that. Because it's easy. And um, although most of you who use Fraps use it for capturing video games, for uh, you know the screencast version of a video game, the only problem is that Fraps out, uh, excuse me, outputs this humongous AVI file. And to give an example of how much you can size down an AVI for uh, publishing to YouTube later, I have here two screen capture files. One which is the original Fraps capture and the other one which is one that has been compressed into MPEG-4 format and that's the one I recommend and I'll tell you why in a moment. And so anyway, let's take a look at the original cap uh, capture file here. 2.53 gig capture file. And it is only at 15 frames a second barely over four minutes long not that long seven to, uh, 1280 by 720 which is 720p and it is uh, a two-channel stereo file and shows the audio rate and whatever huge file that would take forever for most people to publish to YouTube you could do it but man that would take a long time right so that's where WinFF comes into play so I'm going to go ahead and launch it here. Okay. Very simple application once you get used to it. Uh, the first thing you should do is it looks like this ordinarily. Click the options button so you get this extra stuff. I'm going to do that again so you see it. You see how it appears and disappears. And also under options, make sure to check off the option display command line. I'll show you why in a moment. Okay. Now, if I was to take this file, I, and uh, this, is the, this is the small one, this is the big one, so I just drag it right in here. And what I would do is uh, the output folder in Windows by default is the Documents folder. I change that to just output to the desktop directly. So it outputs the file to the desktop. Okay, now, under the, uh, let's see, is it video? No, actually we start with output details. I think by default it is it just shows it as blank like this. So convert to scroll down a little bit, change to MPEG4. Why MPEG4? Because all video sites love the MPEG4 format. You will never have upload issues with MPEG4. And this is regardless of which operating system you're using, by the way. Always use MPEG4. Now the preset, you have to know whether the file is full screen or widescreen. Uh, the one I do for the capture here is a widescreen. Now, the only other thing that I do here... Now, oh, by the way, I should note that there is uh, quality and super high quality, so if you want something... Th this is... Uh, these two right here are average quality, and it is true you get better quality files if you use the H.264 option. I'm not going to bother with that, though. Now, the only other thing that I do personally is I don't touch video, but I do go to audio and set the audio channel to 1 because this is a talking video. There's no reason to have a talking video in stereo. Two channel is stereo, one channel is audio. And you would be amazed, <laughs> you really would be, how much that sizes the file down when you you don't have stereo, if you just opt to go with uh, audio, uh, excuse me, one channel mono audio. And the rest of it I just leave as is and then what I would do is just simply go to convert and here's the cool part and this is why you, you say uh, 
where I showed display output if you scroll to the right here it will show you every single command line option that it's going to do now if you wanted to learn how to do FFmpeg from the command line there is no better way because it, you can say okay how did it do this what options is it using like let's just say you wanted to try this in Linux all from the command line what would you use well it will show you and you can even do a save as so you can save it as a text file or a batch file and even tells you where it's going to place the batch file when it runs now I'm not going to run it because I've already done it with this file now you get to see how much this file was compressed now this will blow your mind okay we know the original file is two and a half gigs this one which uses the conversion options I just showed you 6.43 megabytes huge difference huge this will upload less than two minutes that's great that's why you use WinFF now again you could use Handbrake to do the same thing but if you want to learn stuff from the command line and see the options and get better control um, over the output file it's in my experience it's better to use WinFF and it's just a faster app so again that is at winff.org and just go to downloads and get it and for your uh, screen captures with fraps or any other video file you have that's huge and you want to size it down put it in the MPEG-4 if it's a talking video set it to one channel audio if not set it keep it on uh, just leave the option blank and it will keep it in stereo and believe me <laughs> a lot of us have fast downloads with broadbands but almost all of us have throttled uploads and believe me you gotta get those files down and you don't sacrifice too much quality when you do this you can test the video by watching it afterward to see if um, WinFF produces a video file to your liking and oh one more thing too uh, on a final note when you are converting to MPEG-4 especially from an original raw AVI file it takes a long time to convert a long time you're gonna see this command line window pop up a black screen like a command prompt and it will take a while just letting you know the your computers not locked up when you do it but it takes some time let it it's worth it to get that damn file size down so you can make faster uploads